Mary McDonough, Miss Erin Walton. <laughs> a ball of energy. That's all I can do to describe the next. I don't know if you saw her in the hallway last night, but she couldn't hold still to the music. Make welcome Sissy Wellman, Sissy Tucker. Mrs. Yancy Tucker. Mrs. Yancy Tucker. Oh. That's all right. Coming down the line, the baby of the family, mm -hmm. Cammie Cotler, Elizabeth Walton. <laughs> it is such an exciting thing to have our next guest with us. She kind of fell off the radar for many years, and so to have her at a Walton reunion is very special to complete the picture. Please welcome Miss Tammy Bula, Marsha Ward. <laughs> No Walt reunion would be complete without somebody from the Goxie family. <laughs> Let's welcome Miss Rachel Longacre. <laughs> I don't know if you look most like Ike or Corbin. <laughs> 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 Well, we're kind of out of order with who dated who and who was married to who and all this stuff on the stage today. Let's welcome G.W. Haynes. Mr. David We do have Cindy and Ben together. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let's welcome both Ben Walton, Eric Scott, Leslie Winston. I don't think Leslie Winston has aged at all since she was on the show. I think that's true. And speaking of good music last night, you'd never heard John Walmsley perform. My goodness, you had this place moving. So let's let's make another welcome for Jason Walton. John Walton. Banna White and helping me up here. <laughs> Another wonderful voice. I don't know, did this come from Olivia's side of the family or did it come from John's side of the family? It must be the Olivia Walton side of the family. Thank you. Well, I'll go ahead and introduce her, Mary Ellen Walton, Judy Norton. <laughs> Pinned in the back. Maybe that's why he wasn't in the picture. He was hidden somewhere. <laughs> Let's welcome Jim Bob Walton, David Harper. Our next guest has also a very special place with the Waltons as his father uh, had a very dear place in the history of writing. Um, also, a wonderful storyteller in helping put together the documentary about Earl Hamner. Please welcome Michael McGreevy. <laughs> Our next cast member, you've already heard from her. She will, she's truly the mother of America. Yes. Whether you're the MC or a Walton, she said, let's get this going. <laughs> Everybody's mama, Olivia Walton. <laughs> we are very honored to have our next guest here, as a Walton picture wouldn't be complete without someone to represent Ralph Waite. And it is a great honor here to have his widow with us, Miss Linda Waite. Linda, would you stand? Mr. Ralph Stone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Hal Williams, wonderful character on the show, Harry Foster. If you get a chance to visit with him, he's full of stories. We were talking about Sanford and Sons last night, working with Red Fox. He's, he's great. He's great. And clear over here in the corner, I don't know if you can see him, Mary Ellen's other half. <laughs> Well, I think we've already taken questions, and so I'm going to ask the cast if they'd be dismissed for the autograph session. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. This is just going to be the beginning of a lot of special memories, and Michael is correct. I hope we don't lose focus that we are indeed here to remember a man who touched so many people through so many shows. And we, we happen to be celebrating the anniversary of the Waltons, but as you walk through the halls of this museum, you will see the life story of a man who was a gifted writer, who could bring stories to life, and who has a special place in the hearts of the members of this community. 
So I know that you all this weekend have a lot to remember and be blessed to have had Earl Hammer in your life. Yes. And so let's go forth and celebrate. If you all would like to go sign autographs today, let's give them another round of applause.